Ignite your passion for the eternal word while searching for ancient tested answers to today's questions. Delve into the mysteries of the Bible to discover ancient Jewish wisdom with Rabbi Daniel Lapin. Now, here is today's program. Well, we're speaking about how valuable it is to be able to recalibrate your sense of moral worthiness, uh, to recover that sense of childlike innocence, an ability to relate to God again as a person clean and innocent and fresh of sin, this is, is, is a wonderful opportunity because we all get weighted down with the, the burden of the things we are unhappy about ourselves and things we've let ourselves down on. And the one time, the one time that is just a, a, a gift, I call it a, a heavenly gift of divine serenity. A heavenly gift of divine serenity is the Day of Atonement. And uh, I want to point out just why it is that, that, that days are special in this sense. Um, imagine, uh, if you would, that um, uh, let's imagine a marriage isn't going quite as well as the couple would really like. And let's imagine that the wife decides that uh, she is going to take the initiative. She's going to try and set a time to sit down with her husband and say, look, things are so busy with work and with children, with everything going on in our lives. We're not paying enough attention to our marriage. When do you think would be the best time to do that? Well, one possibility would be to take the date of their wedding anniversary and for her to say to her husband, can we go out for dinner on January the 14th? And he says, sure. Uh, any special occasion? And she says, yeah, it's our wedding anniversary. And he says, oh, yeah, I knew that, of course. And uh, she says, I'll make the arrangements. And what happens when they leave? He says, where are we going? She says, uh, you know, go down this road. I'll tell you where to turn. Eventually, she leads him, uh, and they walk into a restaurant. And it's exactly the same restaurant that five years earlier he proposed to her on. That's where they sat and he got down on one knee and asked her to be his wife. She chose the place, but she also chose the time. And as you can imagine, that sets the mood quite differently from if she would have walked into his office during lunchtime and said, you know, I really want to speak to you about our marriage. I mean, these are the words that every husband dreads hearing. I have to talk to you, all right? Well, set the time, set the place, and everything falls into place. And there are also uh, occasions where um, there are serious moods and, and you don't always know what's causing that. You could be oblivious. Um, an example of that perhaps, Susan, would be? Well, I just remember, and I remember this very clearly in our marriage, when your, your father passed away, who was a revered, uh, an amazing man, an amazing rabbi, um, and there on the anniversary of, of his death a year later, about a week before the anniversary of his death, you began to get, you were just, you were perturbed, you were jumpy, you were edgy, you, you were not at peace. And it took a while, I think, for us both to, to say, well, of course, it's not just the day, it's that the period of this year has now taken on a flavor. And, and, for, and every year, we, you have to be aware of that, in other words, it wouldn't be the type of thing that would be silly to schedule a vacation leading up to that day because the time of the year for us personally became a time that was a very serious and, and a, a sad with a sad tinge of missing somebody on whom we really relied for guidance as well as love. So that's an example. And how does that tie into the Day for Atonement? Well, I think in, in the same way that, um, for instance, in, in the life of any nation, there are, are dates that acquire enormous significance. In the United States of America, the 4th of July uh, is a day of, of great significance. And so you might be an, a recent immigrant to the country. You might not know anything about the history of the country, and yet you cannot help but be aware when you wake up on the morning of the 4th of July and you walk outside, you instantly know that there's something special. It's the flags, it's the parades, people didn't go to work that day, and, and you realize this is something that unifies everybody. We're all in, in something together. And in exactly the same way, this day of the 10th uh, day of the month of Tishrei, set aside as the Day of Atonement, is a very special day. And the reason it's a special day is because three months earlier, Moses came down from Mount Sinai 
and saw the nation of Israel dancing around the golden calf. And he took the two tablets of the law that God had given to him and he flung them down, shattering them into smithereens. And uh, that was followed by uh, 40 days and another period of 40 days of, of repentance and another 40 days of Moses writing out a second set of tablets. And that all culminated on the 10th day of the month of Tishrei. On Yom Kippur, on the Day of Atonement, that is the day the second set of tablets was given to the people of Israel. That is the day the sin of the golden calf was expiated and atoned for. And so for all time, from then onwards, this became a day for rebuilding our relationship with God. And that's why it's considered to be the holiest day in the Jewish year. If you've enjoyed the rich wisdom of Rabbi Daniel Lappin, then we invite you to delve deeper into the Genesis Journeys with Madam, I'm Adam, Decoding the Marriage Secrets of Eden. This CD volume closely examines the lives of Adam and Eve while eliminating God's biblical blueprint for marriage. This audio series includes 12 lessons and features, Embrace the Difference, Adam and the Hippo, and Burning with Passion. This handsomely packaged volume includes a Hebrew language study guide too. To order, call 866-338-5033. And for your donation of $50 or more to TCT, you too can learn timeless truths and permanent principles necessary for establishing and maintaining your family. Reserve your audio volume of Madam, I'm Adam today.